So take this, steal this, use this, please change your life with this because it can do that super fast. Hey, if you're sick and tired of working all the time to make a ton of money, I'm gonna show you like an easier way to accelerate your wealth building activities. And it's, I call it like an easy way to money because what I'm gonna show you is how to build what I call a billion dollar Rolodex, which, which for those of you who don't, don't know what a Rolodex is, is not a Rolex, but a billion dollar Rolodex is a community of connections. And when you have a community of connections, when your network is massive, it makes everything in life easier. And the cool thing, and I've experienced this recently, is that not only will a bigger network help you make more money, but it can help you find the love of your life, it can help you improve your health, it can help you improve anything that you want, it can help you know exactly what to do when you go on holiday to some city because you know somebody who lives there. It's really cool, the power of the internet, we are now one step away. This isn't like six degrees of separation, Kevin Bacon back in the day, where you had to know all these people. You really, with Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, WhatsApp, you can know people all over the world that can help you build the billion dollar Rolodex. How do I know this? My name is Craig Ballantyne. I uh, used to be an anxious, broke, struggling personal trainer, very introverted, and yet somehow, somehow I built a billion dollar Rolodex. And when I call it a billion dollar Rolodex, because all the people in my network, they've generated over a billion dollars worth of revenue. Most of them are my clients. And this excites me every single day because whenever I have a problem, I can go to my Rolodex and I'm gonna show you the four levels of what you have to bring in order to do this. And again, if like I grew up on a farm in a small town, I didn't know anybody. I didn't want to know anybody. I, I could barely know anybody because I was like introverted and socially anxious and awkward. And I figured it out and you can too. All right, so let's go to the first level. And the first level is that you have to totally flip the script in your mind, okay? Because right now you're thinking, how can I get, get, get? No, no, it's how can you give, give, give? Even if you have no skills, even if you don't really know anybody, as long as you go and give value to the world, as long as you go and give value to the world, then you are going to start generating a network. So let me tell you um, about a couple friends of mine. The first guy, a guy named Joel Marion, he became one of my clients in 2009. He was a broke high school teacher. He was trying to make his way online and what I learned about Joel was that he was quickly becoming the most generous person that I knew. Even though he didn't have resources, he was resourceful and was able to help people in one way or another. So he became a part-time writer for some fitness magazines and he came to me and said, Craig, I just noticed you launched a brand new book. You want to sell it on Amazon. Congratulations, you're doing great, but I think I can help you. He didn't come to me and say, Craig, I need help for me. He came and added value to my life. Then Joel became a coaching client of mine. We helped him with his online business. And then soon he was the most generous guy in the industry, having these big parties, bringing all these people together so that they could grow their businesses. And because Joel added value and helped other people, his business grew too. So get out of your own head and start thinking about giving, giving, giving externally rather than getting, getting, getting internally. Wow, when I realized that, I mean, I was Joel's coach, but the teacher, or the, the student soon became the teacher and taught me, which gave me so many ideas about how I can go and give value. So today I will go and buy someone's book. Like recently, my friend Ed Milet came out with a new book. I bought 250 copies and I sent them to people. It, it cost me like a couple thousand bucks. No big deal because it wasn't expensive to buy Ed's book, fortunately. And I sent them to all these people. And they're like, why did you send me this? I'm like, well, because you need to read it. And that's all that mattered. And here's the thing is I generated 10 times as much revenue, business, coaching business from sending that book than what it cost me. I wasn't thinking it was going to, I just wanted to add value, but it worked. Okay. So that's one great example. Joel is a great example. And then one other thing is I recently met a young man. He's 21 years old. His name is Richard Yu. And Richard, what he would do, he wanted to get connected with Joel, who Joel has one of the biggest podcasts in the world. And what Richard would do is he would do a review of the podcast. He would tag him on Instagram and he would do this every week. And Joel would repost it because, hey, listen, if you reviewed my Empire podcast or this YouTube video, if you shared it, I probably will repost that on my Instagram and add value back to you because you added value to me. 
And so Richard did that, and then Richard tried to get Joel to give him an internship, but Joel said, no, but I know this guy, Vince Delmani, who's another one of my clients, who's very successful and he needs your help. And now Richard got to work for Vince. And then both Vince and I are in Joel's masterminds. You see how like all we're just coming together through this power of the network? Joel has a mastermind with 100 people in it who are all multimillionaires, and he lets Richard come in for free, the 21-year-old kid come in for free and sit in all the sessions and just take notes for all of us other attendees. Like just understand how many doors will open when you go and add value. And again, Richard doesn't actually have a lot of skills. He doesn't have a network, but he has energy, enthusiasm, and he wants to add value. And when somebody's consistent with that, that leads to opportunity. Now, the next thing is once you become a go-giver, well, it's even better if you have H-I-S, high income skills, high income skills. You wanna go out there and develop some type of skill, whether it's email copywriting, whether it's doing videos, whether it's becoming a great speaker, whether it is writing video sales letters, or whether it is simply having the skill of being able to sell nose to nose, toes to toes, elbows to elbows, however you wanna get up close and personal with somebody. When you have high income skills, now all of a sudden you become in demand and desired. And if you go out there with a high income skill and you'll say, hey, you know what, I was just reading your email copy and I thought, hey, I'd give you some suggestions. Here they are, No, I, like, I just wanna give these to you because I love your emails and I love your products and I think they can help. Here you go, try those things, let me know how it goes. If you're able to combine those two, oh my gosh, all of a sudden you're a world changer, absolute world changer, and your network is gonna grow massively. Now, you're not gonna develop high income skills overnight, but they're not that hard to get pretty good at. Email copywriting, go grab a course from one of my clients, Jason Capital. I mean, that guy, I met him at 19 years old. He came to an event where I was an attendee. He got a scholarship to the event. My mentor, Yannick Silver, and again, like all these people are introducing me. And my mentor, Yannick Silver, and my mentor, Kerry Wilkerson, introduced me to Jason, gave me the opportunity to help Jason Capital at 19 years old. We sat down, we sketched out a little launch plan on a napkin for him. He went away and made 20 grand. And he talks about this all the time in his videos and on his podcasts. And he's gone on to make tens of millions of dollars and help thousands and thousands of young people to go and achieve their dreams. And he has me speak at his events in front of thousands of people, all because of the billion dollar Rolodex here, all right? All the connections, making money with friends. It's an amazing world. If you believe that there are good people out there and there are, and you spend your time around good people and you get into the circles of good people, even if it starts online like it did for Richard, or you have to get a scholarship to an event, or you have to like take all your money that you have, like the 300 bucks you have in your bank account and say, I'm going to High Status Summit, which is Jason's event, and I'm gonna sleep in a hostel, but I'm gonna go to the event, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna cost me all my money. You're gonna meet so many people there, you're gonna get a 1,000X, not a 10X, not a 100X, but a 1,000X return on your investment because you've added value and you're learning the high income skills. It's gonna set you free from the nine to five, okay? Next thing. Once you've got these things in place, you start to get what I call critical credibility. When I was 25 years old, when I was the broke, struggling, introverted, socially awkward, binge drinking personal trainer, I got all those things that I had going for me back then, you know? When I was that person, I was fortunate that I had the high income skill of writing. I'd spent a lot of time writing and I sent an article to Men's Health Magazine and I got into Men's Health Magazine and Men's Health Magazine at the time was the biggest fitness publication in the world. And now I have critical credibility. I'm the guy from Men's Health Magazine. And even though I was introverted and socially anxious, I could open up doors with the critical credibility because I added value. I just sent them, I, I didn't expect to get paid. I'm like, here's my content, it's awesome. It was well written. And they opened the door to give me critical credibility. So you can get critical credibility from being on a podcast, from being on the news, from being on the radio, from being in the newspaper or magazines. You just have to leverage it. You have to leverage it. You have to turn one appearance into another, into another, into an introduction and away you go. And when you have that in place, you have built yourself up to nearly the top, the pinnacle. You're gonna know so many people at this point because it's gonna be so easy to get your foot in the door when you're known as, oh, that person's done this. And in this day and age, 
And it's really always been this way. When you manufacture celebrity and elevate your status, everything becomes easier. Think about this. Imagine you're going out to dinner in your town and you walk into the restaurant. It's a nice restaurant. It's a beautiful restaurant. You're there with your significant other and there's only one table available. And you walk in at the exact same time as the local news anchor. There's only one table available. Who are they going to give that to? Unless you have these things in place, unless you've grown your network, every single time it goes to the news anchor because they have manufactured celebrity and they have higher status than you. And that's just the way the world works. And so here's the thing. If you manufacture celebrity and elevate status, everything becomes easier for you to achieve. Again, it's just the way the world works. Don't shoot the messenger, baby. It's just the way the world works. And so I have a client, a friend, a guy who's also a coach to me, a guy named Bedros Koulian, and he has done an amazing job at this. Manufactured celebrity. He went and did all of these podcasts. He went and added value, 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 value. For two years, he did podcasts and didn't ask for a single thing in return. He had high income skills. He wrote a book about how he built an eight figure franchise and he had critical credibility. Man, his videos have been watched tens of millions of times on YouTube. He and I have the Empire podcast. He was well known. And when he had that in place, when he was like, okay, now it's time for me to release my book, he had built up and manufactured his celebrity and went to the Wall Street Journal bestseller list. It was in airports. You know, like, listen, there's not a lot of books in the airport bookstores. You know you're a serious game changer when it gets in there. And he did that following the systems. And you can do it too. Okay, you can do it too. Now, the final thing. The final thing is once you get your network, thing that you have to do is make the introductions. You have to make the introductions. Like your network is not for you to hoard and keep. Your network is for you to go out and really it's adding value. You, when you know, you know, Mrs. Smith and Mrs. Smith needs to meet Mr. Jones because if Mrs. Smith and Mr. Jones have a conversation about business, it will elevate Mrs. Smith's business. It will, it will help solve a huge problem for her and she'll ma start making an extra $100,000 a month or whatever. It is your obligation to make those introductions. Now, there's a couple of tricks to it. First of all, we have to do what's called a double opt-in. Okay, you have to ask Mrs. Smith if you can introduce her to Mrs. Jones and Mr. Jones, you have to say, hey, I know you can help Mrs. Smith. Would it be okay if I connected you? And the great thing is, is that 99% of the time they're going to say yes, but you cannot make bad introductions. This will destroy everything that you've worked so hard to create. I write 250 word introductions. Hey, Mrs. Smith, I want you to meet my friend, Mr. Jones. He's an expert in this, this, and this. You probably read his book. You've probably seen him here playing up Mr. Jones. And I'm explaining to Mrs. Smith why she needs to talk to Mr. Jones. And then I say, Mr. Jones, I want you to meet Mrs. Smith. She's done this, this, and this. She's amazing, but she needs a little bit of help with this. And I know that you're an expert in this. So I want the two of you to connect. And I've already asked them for permission to make the connection. And that's what I put in the introduction email. And now they can get on the phone really quickly because time is money for these people. You cannot waste people's time when you're making introductions. And when you do this, when you do this stuff, they are going to be so thankful. They're going to be like, wow, how can I help you? How can I help you? People will say down here, how can I help you? Hey, you've got amazing skills. How can I help you? Hey, you're amazing. Everybody needs to know more about you. And, and it's going to make them feel good to introduce you, the famous person, to one of their friends. And it's all about the introduction. So this is how I went from poor, broke, struggling farm boy, drinking all the time couldn't make introductions and connections. And then I discovered these systems, which unlocked everything for me, everything. It has brought me everything in my life, better health, better relationships, better wealth, better success, amazing trips around the world. I can go to almost any major city in the world and someone would say, Hey, you want to crash here? I got a, a beautiful apartment you can use when I'm out of town. I never, I don't take that up. I'm happy to stay at the hotel, but I can do that. I can go around the world living the life of my dreams because I went from here all the way up to here using these four steps. And you can too. I don't care if you live in Tupelo, Mississippi, or you live in a town where there's 300 people, you live across the world in England or Australia or Singapore. Stop with the excuses and start with the action. All right. So add value, 
get high income skills, to develop critical credibility and start making those double opt-in introductions that are high value, that can be massive leverage points that make people hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars, or solve their number one problem. Like even if you're introducing a health expert with a millionaire or billionaire who needs health help, that's what you gotta do. You gotta make it your job. And when you make this your job, that's the easiest job in the world. And the next thing you know, you have everything that you want because you gave everybody else everything that they wanted. It's that simple. So take this, steal this, use this, please change your life with this because it can do that super fast. I believe in you. Now go out there, start building the value ladder and be great to somebody else. All right, drop a comment down below and let me know the first thing that you're going to do here so that you can go and make more money with friends and have a better life and have greater relationships. Travel the world and have the best life ever. All right, I wanna hear from you. This has been so much fun. If you, if, you get in, if you never, ever, ever read any of my books or watch any of my other videos, go and take action on this because it helped me so much and I can't wait to share it with you.